All right, everybody. Where we left off was that our enemies are randomly spawned in. They will randomly appear. They will all start moving downwards, and they will also randomly fire bullets. We can fire at the enemies and destroy them. We also can fire at the bullets, and when they collide, they bounce off of each other. And right now our player can run into whatever they want and nothing happens. You can also see when the um, enemy's own bullets start running into each other, or running uh, into the uh, enemies, they knock the enemies around, which obviously isn't good. So there's a couple things we need to do here. First, let's go to our player in the hierarchy. Now our player doesn't have a collider. That's why nothing is colliding with them. So let's add a circle collider. And then let's go ahead and edit that collider. Well, you can do it however you want. I'm going to make it so that it's more closely aligned with the center and size of the ship. And I'm going to go ahead and move it upwards. Looks like 0 0.04 makes sense. All right, so here are the values for it. That's where I'm leaving the collider that is on the ship. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and run it and see what difference that made. Great, now the enemy bullets can collide with the player. The player can also collide with the enemies. None of this looks right. Makes for an, would make for an interesting game. Now, on the player, there's two, two things we have to do. On the player, tag the player as player. Then go ahead and we're going to go ahead and we're going to place all of our different objects on various layers. Layers will go ahead and allow us to say, let these layers interact, do not let these other layers interact. Okay. So go ahead and with any objects selected, so long as you can see the layer option up here, click default, go to add layer. And you can only start making edits starting with user layer eight. And what we're gonna say here is player, enemy, player bullets, enemy bullets. Okay. Let's go ahead and set our player to the player layer, our enemies to the enemy layer, our bullet enemies to the enemy bullets, and our bullet to the player bullets. Then I want you to go ahead and go to Edit, Project Settings, Physics 2D. And if you scroll down, you're going to see a matrix. This matrix shows you all the different layers that can collide with one another. For instance, enemy bullets can collide with enemy bullets. That should be checked off. Enemy bullets can collide with player bullets. For right now, we want this checked off. Okay. Player bullets can collide with player bullets. Turn that off. As you can see, you'll go ahead and you'll want to change these up. Um, quickly, what we want, we want it so that player bullets can collide with enemy. Nothing else. Um, the player should be able to collide with enemy bullets, but not player bullets, not the enemy, and not itself. Perfect. So all that can now happen is that enemy bullets, enemy bullets can collide with the player, and player bullets can collide with the enemy. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's run this again. I can still fire just fine. The enemy comes in, hits my ship, destroys me. Let's go ahead and run it one more time. Okay. 
Notice I can no longer collide. Okay. Our bullets pass through each other. They do not, however, pass through the ship. Perfect. That's what we needed to accomplish. Now for our next videos, we will go ahead and we will make it so that the player cannot fly outside the bounds of the screen.